Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props, and today's cosplay quick tip, I want to talk about respirators. I have recently started using a new one in the shop from RZ Masks, and I just kind of want to give you guys my kind of breakdown of it. Um, I was not sponsored by this, I did buy it with my own money, so this is a true review of it. Now, when it comes to wearing respirators, I usually do in the shop pretty much all the time because there's a lots of hazardous chemicals, there's lots of particulates in the air, and despite using like air filtration systems and sanding stations, a lot of that junk still gets out and about. Now, for the last couple of years, I have used nothing but these 3M masks, which are great. Uh, they're, you know, they'll filter out all the particulates. A lot of these will do organic vapors as well, which is awesome. And I will continue to use these for resin casting, for any type of sprays or solvents, anything like that. This is my go-to. But these can be big and bulky and heavy, and they have straps that go around your head and around your neck. And so they're sometimes just cumbersome and they get in the way. That's why I started looking online for new types of respirators out there and I found the RZ masks. Now a lot of the reviews for these are from guys that work outside and they do a lot of landscaping and people that are woodworkers. They all say that these were pretty awesome. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. So the model that I decided to go with was the M1. This is the large, it's a neoprene to get material on here. It will come with two of their F1 active carbon filters. That's kind of their standard filter. They are extremely easy to change. It'll also come with a kind of a travel bag with a key. Now the key is important because it'll allow you to put it on here and unscrew these so you can easily pop in a new filter and screw that back shut again. Everything with this mask is fairly simple. It's designed well, it looks cool. Now, I decided to go again with the M1 because it seemed to be, from the reviews that I saw online, the one with the best breathability. And it's got a lot more of the holes that are on here. It's designed more for hot weather. The M2 is designed more for uh, colder weather. It has less of these to trap more of the heat against your face. We all know foam dust, it gets everywhere. It's extremely fine. You do not want that in your sinuses or in your lungs. And sure enough, every time I start a new build, I usually have sinus problems within about two to three weeks because of all the additional particulates getting up into my sinuses and messing with me. So I wanted something that I could wear pretty much all the time in the shop that was comfortable, it looks cool, and it's very easy to use. So you've got Velcro tabs here on the back. You're not having to get mess with, you know, all these extra things that are going around the top of your head, around the back of your neck. So what this does is it, again, because it's stretchy, hold it up to your face, Velcro the back, you're good to go. You don't have anything else that's obstructing with your safety goggles. And most of the time when I'm out here by myself, I usually have headphones on too. So it's not messing with any of that. Again, it's really comfortable. It's not hugging the sides. You do have a metal strip at the top that you can kind of press down to make it fit your face a little bit better. You know, and the great thing is too, they're not super expensive. Uh, you know, a kit like this is around $30 and you can get replacement filters for about 10 bucks for like a three pack. So that's not bad at all. But guys, seriously, like this kind of stuff is really, really important. If you plan on doing a lot of foam fabrication, you don't want all that stuff in your body. So if you guys are interested in something like this, I'm going to have links over in the description for you guys to check it out. Maybe put it on your wish list. Christmas is right around the corner. Again, this is just my review of this, you know, and it's my opinion. Um, I've been impressed with it. It's been very comfortable to work with. And so, yeah, if you guys like this review, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Be sure to swing back by for more tips and tutorials. Until then, thanks for stopping by.